Hello everyone, let's do a visit data demo. So I want to uh, do some analysis on the am I the asshole Reddit database dump. It's a compressed JSON L file. It's 500 megabytes on disk. When it's uncompressed, it's going to be about five gigabytes. I have 32 gigabytes on this particular machine. Let's load it into visit data. And you can see there, it says 7% read in, and it tells you the number of rows that it's read in, but it's asynchronous. So you can do some and a lot of actual operations while it's actually still reading the data. So the first thing I want to do is look at the columns that I am most interested in. I'm going to be interested in the created date. So let's select that. And I'm going to get rid of the sidebar. And I'm also interested in self-text. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select that. Now let's do a toggle inverse so I can select everything that aren't the two columns that I'm interested in and let's delete them. And you can see because it's still reading and still finding something, so let's delete those too. So that should now, if I quit out and go back to the prior sheet, it'll just show me what I want to see. Now created UTC, it's hard for me to manipulate that because it's seconds in the epoch. So let's create a more standard ISO string. So I'm going to create a new column with an expression. And let's just look for uh, 2022. Oops, let's convert it to an ISO string. And this is a function I have defined in my initialization file. So it's there for me anytime I want to use it. Let's use the created UTC column, of course. And we now have the dates. Let's hide the old epoch time. And I have the dates. So let's now select the 2022 dates. So let's do 2022 hyphen. Now it's going to start going through the data. And again, it's a lot of data. It's about five gigabytes in RAM. And it's going to, and I can't see it right now, but it's processing. You can see it's 15% processing. 50%. And once it is done doing that regular expression of looking for 2022 in the ET-ISO column. I'm going to have the 2022. So it found 52,000, no, 521,000 rows. Uh, so that means there are roughly 500,000 posts in, not comments, but posts in this subreddit in 2022. Let's zoom in to the 2022. Now you can see we have a lot of posts have been removed or deleted. So let's get rid of those because if what I'm really interested in is how many words on average is a post in this particular subreddit. I was writing and I wanted to characterize and I thought rather than waving my hands, let's actually go and get a more substantive answer. So let's do a regular expression search for things that begin with removed and then are deleted or removed. So it selected them. Now let's get, get rid of them all. Delete selected. And there we go. So now we just have 2022 posts with self text that aren't deleted or removed. Now, how are we going to get the average? Let's create a new expression and just do a count of the length of when I split these up by alphanumeric characters of one or more. So this is the length of a find all of one or more non-white spice characters of the self-text column. Get rid of that. And let's shrink that size. So and let's rename this to word count. Okay. So I can search, I mean I can sort the word count. So here it's sorting. It's about 50% of the way through. And you can see I start out with zeros and one, and then I don't know what those are, 13, 16. Let's all make, sh make sure that this is known as an integer type. We can also go to the describe page, and it's going to count the number of distinct values. And for the word count, it's going through all of those. We're about 80, 90% of the way through. And I have a minimum word count of zero, a maximum of 3,000, and a median of about 380, a mean of 393, 
with a standard deviation of 167. Now, is that true? I really have a 3,000 word post on this particular subreddit. Let's go back and let's reverse the sort. Or I could have just gone to the bottom of that particular sort. And let's select this and let's go into it. Let's go down to the self text. Let's select it and go into it. And here it's wrapped, so we're not seeing all of the content. But when we look at the actual post, it's really reasonable to think that there's 3,000 words here, right? I mean, look at all those paragraphs. So that was a demo. Now, instead of waving my hands, I can actually say, on average, these posts have 300 words, roughly speaking, and some of them can be into the thousands.